I put myself and my Twitch viewers onto a volcanic island to see if we would survive or not. Oh, and I also gave myself a giant sword that makes me fly, but that's not mine. This video did take quite the while to make, so if you like it, be sure to subscribe. And with that, enjoy the video. Once I booted up the server and people started joining, it was mainly just punching trees and setting up a base camp. We all then set out to check out the volcano, and it turns out that there was an end portal just chilling near the bottom. I, who would have put that there? I have no idea. After checking out the volcano, we head to a plateau of a nearby mountain to set up a temporary camp entitled <clears throat> Home Base. Now, I think I'll do some explaining about the giant sword I have in my possession. And another thing to note about the sword, although PvP is off, the sword's projectile attacks can still damage players, so that's something to consider. If I throw the sword and then shift, I can teleport to my sword and there is no limit, so I can fly. Even with the sword that lets me fly, I still need stone tools to get iron and then eventually diamonds. Thankfully, that seems to be an easier task than expected, because these islands are absolutely loaded with resources. People were getting diamonds left, right, and center. So I did some... negotiations with my, you know, giant sword. Where's the cave? Where's the cave? Hey, you got a new skin, that's crazy. There, there's no thoughts behind this. Oh my god, pink. 40, 40 diamonds. So now we have a full set of diamond armor and tools. After collecting the materials I needed, I left home base and I went to go find a more permanent settlement for not only myself, but everyone else on the server as well. I ended up finding a nice beach to the east side of the volcano which will be the newest location of home base. Punk. That's, that's busted. That is so busted. Oh, I love it. It turns out that most of the people playing at the time ended up at home base. So while we were out fishing, people were burning down trees. Oh dear. Well, it turns out when there is a common goal, which is to beat the game, even with no rules on the island, Lord of the Flies style, everyone seems to get along quite well. Probably because PvP is off, but that's not important. I then went out fishing, and by the time I turned around from my slight fishing trip, there is a nice little hut just chilling there. It seems that people are pretty good at building when they aren't focused at uh, killing each other with lava buckets and fire and explosions. We are mostly fishing by the end of the day to start preparing for our nether expedition, because the nether is a bit more amplified than your usual Minecraft world on this server. And that closes out the first stream day of the server. Now on to stream day two. Look at this, living large. Living large. Look at all of us go, honestly. What a great, just great teamwork. Day two starts off and we have our first hurdle for the day. We need to get an enchanting table before we end up going to the nether. But there is absolutely no sugarcane on the server at all. So I was there fishing for what felt like hours trying to get a singular enchanted book. And when I had to disenchant the book, I realized that it had some of the best enchantments on it and it was a painful experience. Oh! Did I pick that up? I didn't. Hey, hey, hey. So after getting that book and making the enchantment table, we promptly prepare to go into the nether. The group of people includes me, my Twitch moderator Waffle, one of my viewers, and my good old pal Monster Wave, who you will see in a future video. Here's a clip. Here we go, song number 18. <laughs> and I might have given him the overpowered sword, but let's not talk about that. So now we set off, and thankfully we happen to spawn in the worst possible nether biome possible, Although it does look really cool, I just can't stand a basalt delta sometimes. And this amplified nether doesn't make that easier, that's for sure. Thankfully, after a steep drop off, we managed to make our way to the fortress and things go pretty smoothly, surprisingly so. There's the occasional, you know, like, oh god, I'm on fire! But other than that, there's Waffle's slight bit of, you know, trolling. And we managed to get all of the blaze rods needed. So now it was on to getting the 12 ender pro. And thankfully, we spotted a warp forest quite nearby, a place where endermen usually show up. We do run into slight problems leaving the fortress because of a certain gas, but then I remember I can fly, so that issue is basically non-existent anymore. We land in the warped forest and begin our hunt for some ender pearls. And this went well, just how you would expect someone with a giant sword that makes them teleport and fly would go about getting ender pearls. After that, all that was left was to exit the nether and make our final preparations for the end. Alright, we're back. There we go. 
while I was in the nether, I did receive a message that home base was burned down, but I'm sure it's fine. Well, that sucks. We go and make some slight changes to home base, then make our final preparations to head to the dragon. Hell and yeah. thus ends day two. And with that, We're gonna be fighting the Ender Dragon tomorrow. The start of day three, everyone gathers in the volcano now that the lava has almost risen up to the end portal, and we are ready to face off against the Ender Dragon after a few short minutes of preparation. That leads to the finale, and now you may be thinking to yourself, what could possibly happen if you have an overpowered sword that makes you fly, teleport, and everything else? What could possibly go wrong? And well, there's an answer. If I don't die, that wouldn't be fun. Ready? Whoa! Well, loading times. And the fact that I forgot to turn keep inventory on in the end dimension. But for the rest, well, I think you know what happens next. The crystals are taken care of with ease, and I think I can just show you lot the rest. Where's he going? He's invisible? What's going on? Oh, I did it. No. Well done. <laughs>